Hey everybody, how are you? It's Jeff Gelman of Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do Dog Training Tip of the Day. Tip number 121. When is it time to put your dog down? Um, today, earlier, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I put down one of my dogs today. His name is Jackie. Jackie was, came into our life a few years ago. And um, for the last two years, he's actually been struggling with some pretty major health problems. Um, big tumor in his rear to tail area. It was actually had a huge tumor on his tail that was too large to actually remove. There wasn't enough skin. And then also his back legs were, 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 were failing him. And um, I've seen him go down slowly over the last year, six months, last month, and then yesterday, kapow. Um, he can barely even walk. Um, and then um, I, I made the, um, the appointment for today, and I'm glad I did because today was even worse. And I've had a lot of dogs in my life, I've, I've, um, whether they're, they're, they're family dogs, um, they're working dogs, whether they're dogs that, have, that I've gone through, that I've um, worked through a rescue that I've had, um, as well as obviously I've had thousands and thousands of clients, and I've talked to many people about end of life decisions for a dog. And I think that, that it's important to have an important conversation about this. And I think number one is personal choice. Number one, it is personal choice. I said we are all on our own journey and I think it's really, really important. But a lot of input that I've gotten from a lot of people, including myself previously, is a lot of us wait too long. A lot of us wait too long. And um, I personally did not want to wait too long. So I will talk about my experience. Um, I didn't, he was already struggling um, holding um, for a while. He was um, struggling holding his um, bladder overnight. Um, we actually left um, an inside-outside run for him so we can go outside whenever he wanted to. And he was starting to have a hard time um, holding his um, bowels as well. So, and then he was having a hard time walking. And the last thing I wanted um, any of my dogs to do is to not be able to walk um, freely anymore and then also not be able to hold um, uh, uh, their bladder or their bowels anymore. And again, if you're doing that, that's fine. That's your journey. There's absolutely no passing judgment at all. But I think a lot of people sometimes just don't know. If it's their first dog or they've had a couple dogs or this is their first dog on their own, they've always had family dogs and someone else has already made that decision or their dog was, um, they had to you know rehome their dog or their dog just all of a sudden died of natural causes one day or their dog was killed in a freak accident. So I think it's important when you're making end of life decisions that you take a couple of things into consideration. In my experience, my opinion is not just quality of life of the dog, but quality of life of the human family. I think it's super important that we, 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 we are going to be playing God in, in a way. But if we're going to do it, let's sort of do it right. And to me, you know, dogs are really good at hiding their suffering. They're really good at hiding pain and discomfort. Um, so to me, what I would rather do is I would rather have a dog have an end of life experience while what I don't want it to do is have it when it's just totally too late. And when I've, you talk to enough vets and they will tell you that um, most owners wait too long. Most owners wait too long. And it's not a passing judgment thing, but I think we wait too long because we truly care but if we truly care, why are we waiting so long? It's an interesting conversation. It really, really is. And again, I think it boils down to your choice. But if you're not sure, um, you know, a lot of people listen to my, to my videos. So maybe this can help somebody out. Or maybe that could, this will um, help you out in a way to go totally opposite of what I um, do. Um, either way, I think it's important to have as much information as possible. So what I do is I also factor in the family's, the family's quality of life as well. And that's not selfish. It's not selfish at all. Um, so we've got our quality of life, the dog's quality of life. For some people, it's also financial. Um, for some people, it's also time. And, and none of those things are really selfish. They're just, they're just not. I think they're just, they are what they are. Um, so that's my input. That's my input that I've got for you today. So what would Jeff do? Um, dog training tip of the day, tip number 121. I am madly in love with you. 
I am fine. Um, we were, we were, we were, um, we knew this was coming. Um, and uh, for all the folks I posted up on Instagram, for all the folks that um, thanked me on Instagram and sent me wonderful, wonderful thoughts, um, obviously, thank you so much. Um, and um, all of you, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.